Hey guys, welcome back to The Why Project. Today we are here with Mrs. Martins. Hey! Hi! How's it going? It's going well. How are you? Going good. Just hanging out here at home on my couch. <laughs> it's a comfy place to be. Yeah. Yeah. Well, let's just dive right in. The first question is, why did you become a teacher and kind of like, what's your motivation? Um, what keeps you coming to work every day? Um, so I ended up going to Western. Um, a school counselor actually suggested that I go to Western and I got in. So um, when I first went to Western, I kind of thought I was going to do business and try to open up like my own dance studio um, because I danced competitively when I was growing up. Um, and then I took my first business class and no offense to any accountants out there, but it was really boring and I <laughs> had to change my path. <laughs> um, I don't know, Emily, did you take that class with Bill Lay? Do you remember? Uh -huh. And so I took that class just kind of as um, an elective, I believe. I don't know. This had something to do with my coursework. Um, and I just really loved hearing all the different stories of teachers and how um, their experiences were and how um, teaching just seems like a really meaningful profession. And so from there, I applied to Woodring. And then what brought me to Baker specifically was um, I did my student teaching at Kendall and I just loved the Baker community and so um, I got a job as a junior high which and that's where I am now so that was kind of my journey that brought me to teaching but um, really the why was I wanted a meaningful profession and um, my student teaching really showed me that teaching is like very meaningful what really brings me to school each day is of course the kids um i love seeing them grow and watching them become their own people um, and develop their character but i also really enjoy the people i work with like working with you and working with all of um our department and just everybody in collaborating has really been something that brings me to work each day. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in, in middle school or junior high, you definitely get to experience a lot of um, students becoming who they might become later in life and going through that growth is, it's a cool time, so. Yeah, and I definitely love working with you. It's been so fun. So we're, we're glad you're at Baker, too. <laughs> oh, my gosh. So the next question is, what's a challenge or some sort of encouragement that you have for our viewers to try today or something you have to, to challenge them to grow? Yeah, um, one thing that I've been making sure to challenge myself to do is do some sort of physical activity, whether that's, I don't know, doing the dance party in your living room or <laughs> whether that's going outside. I've been playing a lot with my dog in our backyard, um, just making sure that even though we are doing social distancing, making sure to get fresh air and to move your body. And um, so that would be my challenge is find a way to incorporate physical activity every day. And it doesn't have to be, you know, running a mile. It could look more like, like I said, dancing around, or it could look like, um, Uh oh, I think we might have lost you a little bit. Oh, you're back. Okay, good. I heard um, you say dancing around a little bit and it doesn't have to be a mile. Can you repeat yeah. what you said, please? Yeah, yeah. Um, there's a lot of online stuff going on right now. Um, the studio I know I'm teaching with, we're doing a lot of like online classes. Um, I know on Instagram, there's a lot of also live different classes that you can take. So just kind of seeing what resources is. Are, what resources are out there. So who knows, maybe you really like to dance. You never know. 
Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's kind of a cool time to explore a lot of different options and hopefully find something that people like and enjoy um, and can continue even when life goes back to what we're kind of used to. (laughs) Yeah, definitely. I know that I've been trying to explore different types of workouts that I don't usually do. Um, And so, yeah, I agree. It's a great time to do that. Yeah. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for being a part of this and thanks for your time and being at Baker and all that you do for our community and our students. And we love you. Yes, (laughs) of course. And thanks for doing this project. It's super awesome. I'm excited to see other teachers and what they say. Yeah, it'll be really fun. I'm hoping as we kind of get going that more and more people are, um, up to putting themselves out there a little bit and going out of their comfort zones to um, share their stories. So, yeah, awesome. Goodbye with a, a Hans view. Hi. Oh yeah, you hi. should show everybody Hans. <laughs> hi, I'm gonna say hi. Here's the puppy. <laughs> hi Hans. Let's go Baker. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> <All right>. Bye. <laughs>